what's wrong with having a conference member that is building a football program? Kansas football has sucked for years until yep. recently, right? Yep. They finally yep. started to invest in football. Rutgers football. That was just, that was my one. I was coming. I was has, really- has sucked for years. Yep. Yep. So I, I'm kind of I don't understand the what am I trying to say? The the thought process from the ADs who are saying we don't want them to bring down our football program, but every conference has a member that brings on your football program, <laughs> your football conference. Every, every, Vanderbilt Van, Van football, football has sucked for years. Yes. Rice football, Coach Bloom, no shade. Rice football has sucked for years in any conference, that, you know. So why not bring UConn football in if it means your basketball brings you more money for everybody? That Exactly. That's exactly my point. I don't, I don't understand the separatism. I don't. I really don't. Because you just said perfectly. Football programs, yeah, that uh, I don't I mean, know. For the most part, unless you are a blue blood football program, yes, you will have your ups and downs in football. Five year cycle, you may just be struggling, struggling. Yep, eight years, you might struggle until you get back up to it. Might get need a new coach, new way of doing things, whatever. Okay, because it, I think the head coaches, the ones who are trying to save their job. Man, when we play UConn on the schedule, whew, I got to win there. I got a dub right there. They love having UConn football. Yes. Until they get good. So I don't. Yes. The, the poo point of not having them in the conference for football, I don't, I don't get it. I heard it last summer and I just nod in my head. Of course, I might be biased because I'm just thinking about basketball, UConn basketball, and, right. and having them in the conference would return money to my pocket. Right. As it did when UConn was in the AC, AAC with Houston, and my YouTube views skyrocketed, talking to Stewie and Stephanie Dolson and Gabby Williams and Gino. And I'm, oh man, I, I was in hog heaven, man, with all that. So I'm looking all forward to it if this happens. Yeah. So I just, go ahead, Will. Give me one second. No, keep yes, going. Sir. I got to step off. Give me one second. Okay. And, and let me say this, because I see it 37, I, I agree with this more money and, and ESPN it was mentioned I'm not sure if that still holds true and I really want to get Will thoughts when he comes back about it is why hasn't ESPN made a, a push or more of a push to have UConn in a power conference like the Big 12 you know a conference that ESPN carries that league sports why not sooner because if you take UConn away from the Big East away from Fox Sports you're helping yourself and hurting your rival at the same time so I, I I'm kind of curious about that your your thoughts on it will why hasn't ESPN in the past done more to have UConn in the Big 12 or in the ACC conferences that ESPN carries because then they could hurt Fox, you know, an enemy, a corporate enemy, if you take away that brand, that is UConn. I'm about to cancel everything I just said because of football. <laughs> because of football. <laughs> because of football. That's why. So, you know, it's interesting because in one sense, football, a bad football team does hurt the conference, whatever conference. Especially if you don't have a, a a superpower. Because as you point out many times here on FTS and even in our private conversations, the SEC is top heavy, has been for years. Yep. But no one talks about <laughs> the dregs of the conference because it's so top heavy. Yep. Mississippi State is Vanderbilt on the SEC. If I had to tell somebody walking down the street there, tell me I was lying. Mississippi State is not part of the SEC. Yes, they are. But the Big 12 does not have now. I mean, because before July 1 of this year, it was Texas and Oklahoma. Right. So now they don't have a national power, a nationally relevant top 10 year in, year out football program. 
But how many folks would even, you know, honestly, UConn becomes a member in 2026 in all sports, joins the Big 12. How many of the people will, will say, oh, Big 12 football, oh, that's the league that has UConn football now? Oh, man, that's, oh. Yep. That, that, that conference stinks, man, that, because UConn football is so bad. Who's right. going to care if, if Utah is still kicking butt? If Coach Fritz has turned things around and you Houston Cougar football, no one's going to care about a, a dragon at the bottom of the barrel of the conference. No, who? So what? Records have been in the Big Ten for 14, 13 years now. No one talks. No one. Okay. And, and you know what? Rutgers, Rutgers is still getting those fat checks. Yep. And they're saying, we don't care if people make fun of us. Yep. Those checks still clear, like, like at Ohio State or Penn State or, or Michigan. So what? Yep. You can't be the same way. Boy, you know, we really are struggling here in football, man. This, this is bad. This is, oh, we're going to be like 2-9 and nine this year, 2-10. and 10. Oh, no. The check clear? Yep. We're out of, we're out of deficit. Oh, wait, who cares? <laughs> it's all good. Then. Right. And then those fans would say, all right, yeah, football team stinks. But basketball season is around the corner. So your next butt kicking is on its way. <laughs> so, right. you know, that's what this is all about. I just don't. It just doesn't make. Make it make sense to me. Some ADs don't want it. Some some ADs are in favor of it. The president. And last last year, the, the reason this happened is the presidents, the Big 12 presidents did not want mm -hmm. UConn to be a member. So I don't know if anything has changed from last summer to now, 